that one away, but the Matt Becker gets it back and takes it to the rack himself off, off of Sean McCarthy, that is. The 6'6 junior forward from Ireland making his presence felt. Leads the team in rebounding, but he's getting some points right there. 17-32 left here in the first. St. Anselm with their first lead of the game by one point, but Cassell Stewart answers for his second bucket of the game. Muscle in his way is the three ball, so he needs to find his rhythm here. Speaking of rhythm, it's been the transfer portal where the Owls found a huge gem in Josh McGettigan. Coming over from St. Rose, already five-time N810 honors. Dropped in 23 against Malloy in their last victory, 101-72. to James. Butter! Three per outing. Look for this to be a very physical game on the blocks, especially for rebounding. That could be the real key to this game is who's going to be the most aggressive on the boards. And a steal by McGettigan in the hands of DR. DR gets it up to James. James looking for Solvira. Solvira, a little pass to the corner. McGettigan bullseye. For Try and get it to our all-star Tyler Arbuckle. Can't get that one to go. Some good defense ends up in the hands of McGettigan. Owls take the lead with a three ball. Williams can't get it to go. James with the board. Down to Diara. Diara gets it stripped away. Recovery, though, by the Owls. Silvira thinks about it. Takes it strong to the hole amongst the... And stepping into his spot was Christian Joe, who you're probably going to see pretty soon, I'm assuming. But he has been a terrific electric freshman as Robinson puts up another three-pointer rebound there by McGettigan. Back to the floor, General Marty Solvira coming over two seasons ago from St. Peter's. Who, they made that big run to the Elite Eight in the NCAA tournament. It's McGettigan. McGettigan. And when he gets into the zone, 33 is almost unstoppable. One of the most versatile bigs in the entire conference. He can play on the perimeter. He can play inside. His playmaking and scoring is almost unmatched on the blocks. Yeah, he can definitely stretch the floor, too. He can sit in the corner and hit those threes or take it down low. And they give it back to him down low. And a kiss off the window for Jack Close. Mm -hmm. Maybe she just, the big man should just throw it down. Yeah, that's what that's he does what best. Say. <laughs> that's probably his best bet. Don't worry about banking it off the window. Just throw it down as Silvira ends up with a rock. 10-16 left here. A two-point lead and a back-and-forth affair in a huge NE10 conference matchup. Now the Owls are going to the blocks here, trying to set something up on the perimeter. On the Freshman guard out of Queens. Coming in from Trinity Pauling High School, 2022 Founders League All-Conference first teamer. Yeah, he's making a big statement for... Any 10 rookie of the year for sure. He's in the conversation. And it looks like they're going to play a little bit more on the perimeter. McGettigan trying to get some room on the block. Joe takes it inside. Dribble drive. Is he going to dish it off? No, he takes it himself. Gets the hoop. The conference championship. You're not playing for the Nationals. So once you get into the national scene, you know, it's a whole different ball game. There's some really good teams across the country. So that's just, you got to take it from another level. But, you know, the conference championship is definitely the most important. Yeah, well, what's important right now for the Owls is they are scoreless over the last three minutes and 11 seconds, but still hold a two-point lead. It's still where it hangs in the air. And, and that Morissette shot is off, which is shocking because he broke the program's conference all-time single-season game record with 12 trays in early December. So they did not want to let him get going right now. He is zero for three from the floor. Stewart. Gets it stripped away inside. Recovery. 12 seconds left on the shot clock. Silvira rattles it home. McGettigan trying to power his way. He gets double teamed and blocked. Matt Becker. All six, six of them came flying in. So that's what they got to look for, though, right? They're giving the ball to McGettigan down low, but opening up someone on the perimeter. McGettigan's just got to get them the ball. Got to kick it back out. Little inside-outside game. Six seconds left on the shot clock. They give it back to James. James, deep three. Butter! It's three straight possessions. Becker had the ball in his hands. And three straight. They came away empty. James, one minute left to play here in the first half. Silvira, they get it back to McGettigan. Silvira, 15 seconds left on the shot clock. They got Arbuckle on Diara in the post. They should try and get down low. The mismatch. James with that flow. Last season to lead the team. So coming up on the 18 minute mark, it's the 35-29 lead. The 
St. Anselm gets the ball in the hands of their superstar Arbuckle. And if you see what they're doing, St. A's knows that Southern's in man as Becker throws up a long ball. That's off the mark, but they're noticing that Southern's in man coverage, so they're doing a lot of picks to get switches and matchups for Arbuckle as the big... Can't get it to fall, and another board for Diara. It's what he's been doing so well, and he has a team leading six rebound of the game. Disrupt the passing lanes is going to be huge for the Owls on defense. Williams in the game. Let's see if they can get him going. He has no points as well after that huge 15-point first quarter. Going five for five and against Damon in their loss. So you cannot leave him open as well. Can't concentrate just on Arbuckle as it's now McGettigan, the Al superstar on Arbuckle. McGettigan gets it over to James. James, seven seconds left on the shot clock, takes it deep inside. Williams in the corner. No good, but Diara wanted to take that. James for three. Butter! And playmaker is going to make plays, and that's number zero for St. A's. He's already got one conference championship under his belt. He knows how to win these tough games. Yeah, first miss for St. Anselm there, and it's a two-point lead for the Owls. James in his hands, back to McGettigan. The two hot hands right now. McGettigan's hit six of his last seven. 17 seconds left on the shot clock. Inside to Stewart. Stewart gets it to go. The start of conference play. St. A's experienced squad, upper class them leading the way, including seven transfers. Their big loss is any 10 second teamer Miles Tension from last season. But here's Arbuckle leading the way. 15 seconds left on the shot clock as McCarthy loses the handle. The Owls off the races. Two on one fast break. Joe. Gets it to fall. Top score. It could be McGettigan. It could be Stewart. It could be Diara. They don't care. All they care about is wins, and that is the recipe. That's the special sauce for a championship team. And but you, Yeah, and you look at the UConn Huskies who won it last year. You know, they had basically two starting lineups coming off the bench, but it wasn't just one player. They played as a team. And you're starting to see that recipe come to fruition here. Stewart being one of those big pieces takes Absolutely. it to the rack. What a leap he has made from freshman to sophomore season. So he came off the bench last season. Yes. Didn't mind. Now a starter. Now you see players like Joe, Bagshaw, chipping in and just playing as hard as they can. Every single play, every little minute, they can get off the bench. Here's this Bagshaw for huge. three. Butter! And that's what makes this team so scary. They're solid with the fundamentals. You know, free throw shooting, rebounding. As they almost get an offensive board there. Yeah, McGettigan somehow comes away with that. Here comes Joe, the freshman. Over to Bagshaw, who hit that big three ball. Marty gives it back out to Joe. So you got Joe and Silvera in the backcourt. Joe takes it himself. High minute. off. Now. Joe, the freshman. Over to Bagshaw, who hit that big three ball. Marty gives it back out to Joe. So you got Joe and Silvera in the backcourt. Joe takes it himself. High finish. off the window. What a finish by the freshman. That is not a freshman <laughs> play right there. Oh, and a steal. Joe to the rim, thumps it off the backstraw, the extra pass to Silvera. Now 12 for 14 from the line for St. Anselm. The Owls have only managed six free throws, so maybe they've got to start going inside and initiating some contact. Yeah, they haven't been getting some calls either. I mean, Joe just went up for that layup before there was some contact, but you're right. They got to start attacking the blocks. 12 seconds left on the shot clock. Stewart in down low. The little turn around and gets the shot clock. Stewart in down low. The little turn around and gets the kind roll. Man, he has just found his touch on the blocks. The footwork has been really, really good this game for Cazell Stewart. I mean, just the improvement from one season to the next. Over six point improvement and over two board improvement. Joe with the steal. He's unbelievable, man. He is an absolute Feet for the ball. Al's up by 12. Stewart. He usually doesn't take that. Oh, excuse that me. Was that Joe. was that yeah. was Joe, yeah. Taking that big three ball. Doesn't get connect. Nice pass. So can they cut it down to single digits with that? The three-pointer? No. McGettigan. McGettigan looks like he's turned it up a notch here. Yeah. He has, and he knows that he's the best, he's the best player on this team. And as can Taylor. He's been quiet on the offensive on the offensive uh, side of the ball, but he's been pretty good on defense. They looked extended, but good defense by McGettigan. Took Becker to task there. 4:38 remaining. 
a nail biter if you are either squad right now. 430 remains in the game. Six point lead for the Owls. They are scoreless over the last minute and 40. What? Uh. <laughs> See, that's how they do it out of Ireland. It's not the luck of the Irish. That was a big, heady play by McCarthy and it's just a four point ball game. Four minutes left in the game. A huge NE10 conference matchup. It looked like the Southern Owls were on cruise control. Joe. Butter! Brothers. Yeah, Germany. Germany. Two so. players from Australia. Ireland in the house as well. So it is an international game, and it's showcased here as Arbuckle misses that one. And the fight for the rebound, and McCarthy comes up with that one. A huge second-chance opportunity for St. Anselm, and they are not going away quietly. So James ball. takes it himself. Woo. Free throws attempted for the Owls, but there is a pair right there that it was much needed, and they get it from their superstar, Josh McGettigan. Becker answers, though, and at 2-12, it is just a nine-point ball game. So he puts Logan Bagshaw in the game, one of the better foul shooters on the team. I'm assuming that's the reason, as Bagshaw Goes up oh. with the. I'd probably look for McGettigan. Played 38 minutes. I mean, what a game. I mean, hey, this Owls team, anyone can step up at any time. And I think it took a, a little bit, but they had a bunch of guys step up late in this one. You could see it on the coaches' faces. They wanted this game. This was a game that I, last couple of years, I don't know if we win this, especially after the big break. So this is going to be a really good team win for the Owls going forward. You always want to get that first conference game. Under yeah, the like belt. you mentioned, I mean, the, the Hawks have beaten the Owls the last two years in a pair of regular season games and the first round of the NE10 tournament, 85-65 in the 2021-22 season. So a little revenge for the Owls as they get the 11-point victory, 86-75. to The Owls improved to 10-2 and two on the season, 4-2 and two in the NE10. And coming up next, wow. It's going to be a big one on Saturday, Tim, against top-ranked St. Michael's. We're going to head down to the floor. <laughs> Picking up his 126th victory with our player of the game, Kazell Stewart, 19 points and six boards. You good? All right, you good. Great game today from SCSU men's basketball. Coach, I'm going to start with you. Nine lead changes in that first half. Held the lead for the entirety of the second half. What clicked? Yeah, I think we played great D um, throughout the game, but we, we just got to take care of the ball. Like, we should have – that should have been a bigger bigger win for us, um, a bigger point win. But a win's a win, but we got to – our goal is to be a championship team. And uh, I think we were good, but we won a championship team tonight. Hopefully we can get there on practice tomorrow. And what are the key takeaways from this matchup as we move forward into more conference play? We could be great if, we're, if we put our minds to it and, and, and take care of business and do what we have to do to be great. Um, only, only person that team that can stop us is ourselves, I think. Thank you for your time, Coach. Thank you. Okay, big game today, not a highlight play, and you've been getting a lot of traction for that lately. I want you to describe to those new viewers who Kazell Stewart is really on the court. Uh, I guess what y'all said, just a highlight player. You know, it's, I'm the motor of the team right now, just trying to work, get rebounds, you know, score whatever I can, layups, uh, get easy assists, you know, grab the boards that people aren't grabbing and things like that. You know I mean, just keep the team pushing and running and transition. And more conference play to come. What are the key takeaways from this one as we move forward into conference play? Definitely, we got to work on our defense, you know, talking more on a lot of um, switches and, and ball stuff, you know. That, those are the things that we're going to have to get better in practice. And then, you know, like Coach said, working on our turnovers, not trying to turn the ball over as easily. And then, you know, the, the better we get at that, the more the more we're going to play better. Thank you for your time, Kay. Big win today for SCSU men's basketball. Back up to Chris in the booth. All right, we good. Thank you, Ben Martin, and our player of the game, Kazell Stewart, 19 points, six boards. Also, Coach Scott Burrell, who picked up his 126 career victory. Tim, the Owls now on a seven-game winning streak. And, you know, you love to see the winning streak, but I really think the toughest part of their schedule is ahead of them. St. Mike's coming up uh, next game, and then they got the University of New Haven at the University of New Haven. Never an easy place to play. So I think we're really going to see what this team is made of in the next couple games. Well, they started out on the right foot with a 11-point victory. The Owls 86, St. Anselm 75. For Tim O'Shea, I'm Chris Smith. Good day from James Moore Fieldhouse, home of the Owls.
Big game tonight, Sean. You know, big win. How does that how does that start conference play off well for you? Uh, I think it's huge to get a win in the conference, uh, no matter when it is. But to you know be playing out of conference and then to come back and start the conference up with a win is huge. It's a big momentum builder, and you know just feed off of that. And keep hopefully keep rolling. A lot of inside scoring tonight, but you were active from beyond the arc tonight. How does that inside outside game help you guys win games? Well, it's huge for us. I mean, we've got Kazel, who's you know leading the conference in field goal percentage, so you got to respect him down low. You got Sharif, who clears out space and is a beast on the boards. So when he's down there, you got to you got to respect him too. So you know everyone's going down there to help. I'm just trying to help my teammates out, be ready to shoot, hopefully knock some shots down. And a big game on Saturday against an undefeated team. What are you guys going to do to get ready for that one? Uh, we're just going to be mentally locked in. You know, going into practice tomorrow, being ready to. Go to war. You know, they're a good team. We got to watch some film on them and definitely be ready to kick the butt. Thank you for your time. Definitely. Coach, a lot of inside plays tonight, a lot of inside scoring, a lot of rebounds. How does that inside game help you guys win games? Well, we have two tough guys that, that um, do, do, do a lot of damage for us down low. So when we get to K, um, usually, usually a bucket, Shreve's usually a bucket. And if we do miss, those guys uh, mop up a lot of stuff and get those offensive rebounds and defensive rebounds. And a big game on Saturday against an undefeated team. How are you guys going to prepare for that matchup? We gotta come focus. We gotta get better tomorrow in practice. Um, you know, St. Mike's is tough. They're really good. They play in matchup zone. We gotta work on our zone offense, but we gotta be able to stop people. And uh, we did that tonight. We usually do it. We gotta carry it over on Saturday. Thank you for your time, Coach. Thank you.